Okay, so I did hear back from the coach. As I told you, I did miss a girl. I put her in here, and I put together something and sent it to her, and she really liked it. But I got to looking at it, and I thought, I think I can balance these girls a little better. I think I can move them around um, and make it look a little bit more balanced. I'm not real happy with the way some of these are. <clears throat> so I, I created another final, and this is the final over here. And I'm going to turn off some things so you don't see basically those things. Now, we already talked about the rocking R, and we talked about some of the other stuff, putting the smoke in here. But I wanted to talk specifically about how I move these girls around. You'll notice that this girl, tossing the ball up, I thought she would look better exposed out here so you could actually see what she's doing. If you look at her over here, you don't, I mean, you can tell, but not as, as easily. And not only that, I thought I still thought this girl would look better down in the middle. So I played around with it, and I actually moved. This girl was down here. This girl was over here. This girl was up here. So I did move these few around. Put this girl up here, but the girl that was here, or for here over here, and move this girl over here, see if that makes sense. But... If you look, this girl is now in the middle, this girl is now on top, this girl is now over here, and this girl that was in the middle is now on the side. And I put that together and sent it to the coach and said, you know, which one do you like the best? And she said she actually liked this one better, and I do too. I think it, it balances a lot more. It, it separates some of these girls that are doing the same thing. Even though I'd like to have this girl out on the end, I think she looks just fine right here. So I wanted to show you, after I did that, I also did some finishing touches. And I turned off my logo because you didn't, I mean, you saw that last time, I think. But if you see, here's my logo, and I just turned it off over here. There's also the other logo that she wanted on here. So basically, I added our two logos in here. But I also wanted to... And, you know, change the look of this a little to help kind of blend it a little better. And I did that with lookup tables. And if you, it's a subtle difference, but see how it kind of, it kind of darkens things and gives it a little bit more of a blended look. So if I turn that off and on, this is, that's off. It's a little brighter. This is on, which is a little bit darker. Everything is a little bit more like the color of the spotlight up here. They have just a little bit of that kind of a, a color to them when you add that in. And for those LUTs, there are several different lookup tables over here that I took. And I'm not going to go through all of those each one, but if you look, this one's 10%, this one's 10%, this one's 100%, another 10%, 10%, 10%. So very small amounts when you add them all together can make a big difference. Now I will look and show you the lookups up here and I'll tell you the ones I know I used. And I used I used candlelight, I used crisp warm. Uh, I also came down here and used uh, Tennyson Green I believe it was or maybe it was teal orange I don't remember but I just used, I just kind of started trying things that seemed to, I wanted to kind of add the look that gives it this. So most of these, the candlelight, the crisp warm, and I, I think I even have edgy amber in there, as well as Tennyson orange or Tennyson green. The Tennyson green would have given it a little bit of a darker look. So, and the Tennyson orange would have given it a darker kind of a green orange look. So I think it was Tennyson or, or excuse me, teal orange plus that I used. Fortunately, I didn't write them down over here. But basically, I just went through and said, okay, let's just add 10%. And let me show you what that looks like. So it's it's still pretty bright here. If I turn that off, it's it's very, very subtle change right there. You barely, you probably can't even tell. But as you add them in here, see that one added a little bit more of a red-orange color. And add this one in here, it added a little bit of a, of a dark color. This one brightened it up a little bit. 
this one added really is the one that added the most of that orangey look and then you've got these and that darkened it a little bit give it more contrast and then this one as well so those I wanted to show you those and they're very very subtle things but when you add them all together they can make a big difference and there's there's other ways to do that typically I will also go in and add a topaz impression painting um, preset and bring it in and then put it in on soft light or something like that and bring it down to um, maybe 20 or 30 percent and it also adds a lot of contrast depending on which one you use it can also add a big boost in color again depending on which one you use and whether you use soft light or you could use another um, you could use hard light or you could also use multiplier or one of those others that would give it a totally different look but I like this I didn't feel like I needed to do more the coach liked it you'll notice over here also I forgot to tell you that even when I added those all in I just brought it down to 75 percent so again you have to think about that sort of thing but I think this is a a finished product I think it did worked out really well uh, coach likes it we'll see how the kids like it I placed the order a couple of days ago I've already gotten them back haven't looked at them yet but uh, I'm looking forward to see what they look like but that is it we are done with this poster and I hope you've enjoyed the, and learned some things as I said in the beginning this is just the way I do it there are hundreds or if not thousands of folks out there that do the same sort of thing can get the same sort of a look and do it totally differently but this is the way I kind of do it you saw I made some mistakes and you know you don't be afraid to make mistakes that's how you learn and when you make a mistake all you have to do is is go back and, and redo it I mean so I um, hope you've had a, a I hope you've enjoyed it and um, maybe we'll do another one down the road